did you meet James, Terry? Well, I met James in high school. In the English class, he was giving a book report about the book that I had read. And I started talking to him about it, and before I knew it, he followed me home. So on the walk home, and this really fast-talking person that spoke really loud, I think some of the neighbors called the cops. How about you? How do you meet people? Okay, um, I was the new kid on the block at Middle Junior High, and um, I was in meeting seventh grade math class, and I said, next to her. And I copied her homework. <laughs> 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 copied her homework? Shit. Yeah. I did the same thing with James for algebra, geometry, high school chemistry, <laughs> high school chemistry, <laughs> calculus. Then we moved on to college. I copied him off of physics, <laughs> the multivariable calculus. And I think it was a materials class. I don't remember. <laughs> I think these uh, <laughs> here are the only reason we have jobs in real life today. Now, now tell me, what was the first contact like? You all wanted to know. Okay, so uh, as you all know, I introduced James and Mimi. And um, so the story goes, um, I hadn't seen Mimi in a little while, and I thought I'd give her a call. Um, so the next week, we met over at Lisa's Tea Treasures, right? And um, you know what girls do when uh, these little chick get together and talk about guys. So I asked her, how's your love life going? And she had told me she finally dumped that Debbie. <laughs> so she was free for me to set up with the James. So I told her, um, I have the perfect guy for you. Um, what do you think? Can I set you up? And she said, yeah, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready for the next step. And the next day at work, um, I asked James, um, yeah, remember that girl I've been telling you about for the longest time that I think is perfect for you, maybe? And he agreed to it. And so, um, they both really love food. The next weekend, um, Rob and I, we took them out to uh, San Francisco Food Forge. And they really hit it off. I remember um, them coming to my mom's house at the appointed hour. And uh, my mom and dad talked to me. And he's asking James, what do you think? And he's all nervous. It was really cute. Um, and at the Food Forge, they would, uh, you know, chit chat to each other, you know, eat their food, and then James would bring me little tidbits of things here and there. So they really did hit it off. So I think it's time for the dirt. Well, before I get to the dirt, I kind of tell you my James side of the story. So, for some mysterious reason, James disappeared for six months, no email, no writing, no call. And then he goes off on this romantic vacation to Norway with Stephen for two months. And then I thought, okay, James has finally got in touch with his inner self and he's just switched teams. <laughs> Shortly after we came back and things settled down for him, I, um, we had dinner or like some drinks. And then uh, he told me that for the last six months he was uh, playing hide the kielbasa with me. I don't think they got that. Okay. No, it's good that they didn't. <laughs> I got it. But, yeah, um, I asked Mimi how it was going with James, and, you know, being a nice, polite girl that Mimi is, she didn't say much, but there was this one time I invited him out to do something with me, and I said, okay, let's meet at my mom's house this hour. And then, um, 4 o'clock rolls around, and then 4 o'clock, 4 20, I'm thinking, WTF. So I call them, I'm texting them, and they don't call me back. And one hour later, they arrive, and I'm looking at him, all right, now we're going to move on to the dirt. <laughs> so we were kind of racking our brains. I thought I'd just pass the ball on to me after she had her first glass of wine. Sorry, Aurora. I've already too much. What dirt do you have on me? So, yeah, Mimi's a very nice girl. Like, there's nothing she ever did that was uh, out of whack. Um, but I will say this, the thing that she's very proud about. So, Stephen back there, <laughs> we know that this guy can eat anyone under the table. Anyone. He's a marathon runner, right? He's a garbage can. <laughs> but I only know one person who can out-eat Stephen. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Oh, there was the part about the pets. So, um, I guess 
growing up, Vidi really loved pets. And um, <laughs> a bandy goldfish after a bandy goldfish, uh, she always gave them uh, Elizabeth, and then I would get them. Well, better than James, he ate his pets. <laughs> oh, that's true. But you did tell me that um, instead of. You, they, the you crawfish, that remember? They ate each other. They both ate each other. But he said that you made a. That's not what he told me. He told me he ate them. <laughs> well, we kind of got worried about the cat. <laughs> well, one thing for sure that I, I know that's guaranteed for me is that whatever child that Mimi and James have together, I know she's going to be smarter than mine. And I've got a pre tutor. <laughs> My education costs are going to be cut in half. Um, and maybe my kid will be. I don't know about the no child left behind act, but I know Terry's child will be no behind. Well, you'll be on the bandwagon as well. You will not be on the short bus. Um, Alright, so dirt on James. Um, when she asked me what kind of dirt do I have on James, I stood there for like 10 to 20 seconds. The deer and headlights were thinking. He has so much more on me than I have on him. I don't even want him to be in this position. I, <laughs> um, he's been a really straight-laced guy. He's been a good friend of me over the years. Been by my side with all the mistakes that I've made, uh, all the dumps that I've been drunk and all that kind of stuff. Boyfriend after boyfriend, girlfriend after girlfriend. So the only real dirt that I can have on James is that one time when he introduced my dad and I to the, uh, to the soft, Beautiful views of either of these coffee. Oh! Got it. I was wondering why was there invited to the Vietnamese coffee? It's a special event. Alright, now it's time for your three children. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 